On this week's episode of Trucking News Unfiltered, we are going to cover something that went on this weekend that I just have to talk about right after this. Welcome back to this episode of Trucking News Unfiltered. We're going to talk about today something that happened over the weekend about a driver, truck driver, uh, having problems, not getting paid in about three weeks because of truck issues. No, he's not a company driver, he's a lease driver. And uh, if y'all know the story, you know who I'm talking about. In fact, I did a video about that click up here if you want to see the video I did of what was going on and how to donate and everything but we're not going to bring all that up on this video I just want to talk about how people got together and helped out I think he went live on uh, YouTube later on that night and um, uh, he got a lot of donations and a lot of people, you know, it's a good thing. Truck driver was finally getting together and helping another one out that's down and has a young family and everything. So, of course, you got the haters that have personal problems with that person and think that, well, he, he knew what he was getting into and all of this so they say well I'm not gonna help I'm not gonna help well that's fine if you don't want to help just be quiet about it nobody wants to hear what you have to say bad about them there's no reason for that and people talk about all the time you hear about um, well we need to bring the brotherhood sisterhood or the unity whatever you want to call it back to the trucking industry truckers just don't stick around anymore like they used to and um, they're the some of the ones that were saying uh, bad things negative things about other people helping out a fellow trucker it was kind of sickening kind of appalling and especially when it's some people that you actually know it uh, kind of breaks your heart a little bit because you thought these were good people but apparently I don't know if it's jealousy or what it is that that would make them uh, say negative things about that so it's all it's all good now I think he got a lot of donations a lot of people helped him out and uh, I think now all the extra money that's coming in he's sending out to another charity or uh, whatever that is so uh, I think that's all I'm going to talk about on this week's episode of truck news and filtered I just want to talk about that get that out my chest and um, I just wish we just uh, unite well, let's help each other out I mean well let me talk about this for a second before I leave a lot a lot of people well a lot of the negative people that were talking trash about this or same one saying well I was I've been in his boat before I've been broke down didn't have any money nobody helped me out so I went through it too two or three times probably more than that broke no money couldn't hardly eat had to eat a cup of noodles you know every night <laughs> it was rough I didn't ask for help with well, this person I'm talking about he didn't ask for help it was his friends that uh, started helping him out he didn't ask for help so I mean just because something happened to you and you made it through without any help why should you not think that it would be okay to uh, help somebody else out it just don't make sense to me I don't know 
But uh, I just wish we'd all come together as everybody says they would like to. So that's it. Kind of made me feel a lot better after seeing all the uh, all the help and uh, donations and everything going to this driver. Kind of, you know, made me feel good. Even the people that had differences with each other got together and uh, donated and helped out and did what they could. Pretty cool. So that's it for this week's episode of Truck News Unfiltered. I'll be back next Monday with a news story on Trucking News Unfiltered. See you then.